Hi, hello. Um, today I wanted to talk about the Apache Bench. So, uh, in uh, in my daily work, uh, I often use Apache Bench to uh, load a test web server or HTTPS SSO web server. Um, and uh, yeah, so Apache Bench is um very old uh, load test tool from uh, Apache Foundation. So this, this is the uh, website, official website from Apache uh, Server Project. Uh, one problem with Apache Bench though is it is a single process, single threaded uh, program. So, uh, it is limited. Uh, it has limited capacity, capability to do load test, and uh, so that's why a lot of new load test tool is developed uh, to replace Apache Bench. Um, but uh, today I wanted to uh, show you a uh, Apache Bench. Uh, with multi-threaded support, uh, meaning uh, if you have, uh, say, um, uh, eight CPU cores, and you can run uh, Apache Bench thread on each CPU core to generate uh, heavy load HTTP or HTTPS web server. Uh, load the test. So yes. Um, first, uh, first, like uh, I, we have a customer, um, we have a customer running a big IP, and uh, uh, he has uh, twenty thousand. Uh, uh, he has uh, licensed twenty thousand. Uh, SSO uh, transaction per second uh, big IP and uh, he only got uh, like uh, 8,000 uh, trans SSO transaction per second uh, TPS but uh, the uh, but uh, but uh, his uh, uh, SSO clients already uh, failed intermittently for some uh, SSO collections and uh, so and I thought it would be good if I have a, a, a patch bench to do a, a similar uh, te node test to just uh, see what what the problem is and uh, so, so this is a, a multi-threaded Apache Bench uh, from the MTCP project. So this is my, this is uh, the MTCP project I cloned. But the problem with the the, uh, the multi-threaded Apache Bench. Uh, from MTCP project is uh, uh, it does not support uh, SSO node test. So I patched up the the Apache Bench. Uh, so I patched I patched the Apache Bench, and uh, here is the patch so as you can see in the label in the configure script uh, I labeled the SSO support to configure SSO for Apache Bench and uh, so this is a, a long list of um, of um, configure script mostly I, I 
I take from the upstream Apache Bench uh, configure file. So this is one, one, one patch. Another file I also needed to patch is the Apache Bench, Apache Bench code itself, uh, which is. Uh, which is this file, ab.c file. That's the actual Apache Bench code. And uh, so I uh, patched the code with mtcp stack and uh, also on top of a, a open SSO. Uh, buffer IO API. Yeah, so so here, like if I have MTCP stack, uh, use the uh, MTCP socket on top of a Buffer IO, SSO, open SSO buffer IO. Yeah. So I that that's the two files need needs to be patched to support a SSO node test for MTCP Apache bench. And uh, so let's run a load test. So I run this tm cattle command to monitor the. So I have a I have a HTTPS virtual server uh, uh, hosted on the big IP, and I'm going to send the load uh, send the load uh, send the HTTPS request to the virtual server on the big IP. And this is a command I monitor the, the SSO acceleration hardware on the big IP to see, uh, to monitor the, the SSO hardware card. Right? Okay, so for this uh, big IP, uh, it has a uh, uh, Intel SSO acceleration hardware car. It has uh, four, let's say four queues, and uh, here is uh, three, one, two, zero. So each queue is assigned to a TMM thread. Uh, so there is a, like four CP. For CPU on the big IP uh, assigned to a uh, TMM thread, and the TMM is the 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 traffic, the big IP data plane uh, processing process, and uh, so each TMM thread has uh, one hardware SS hardware queue assigned. So right now there is no data here. But if I launch the test here, so I, I'm going to run this. I'm going to run this Apache Bench. Uh, here is the, it is says I use eight CPU cores on this uh, from this machine uh, concurrent collection uh, three twenty and the total number of requests and this is the HTTPS virtual server on the big IP okay so let's uh, start the load the test.
as you can see, I use uh, eight CPU cores. And uh, again, you can see here uh, this virtual machine. I'm running virtual machine uh, uh, VMware ESXi. So the DBDK, DBDK driver is uh, this. And uh, I'm using, since I use eight core, so there is a eight, eight uh, uh, driver queue. Each CPU you use a single queue. Here is eight CPU. So it's it's like a, a generated like a, in total in total is a, like a, a one hundred and ten megabyte mega bit per second throughput. So let's look at the data here. So as you can see, uh, each TMM thread using each uh, SSO hardware queue. And uh, you can see this is uh, uh, almost evenly distributed uh, load on each hardware queue. So and uh, so that, that's the that's that's the difference I we noticed on, from customer is uh, in in customer case uh, their hardware queue SSO hardware queue uh, is not evenly distributed. So like say uh, this uh, the, the queue number three and the queue number one has more a uh, load than the than the uh, uh, number two queue and the number zero queue. So so what's the problem, right? Uh, why the why in customer case their um, their traffic node is uh, is not even distributed. So in order to uh, uh, simulate, simulate this, let's uh, stop the load test. Because I, I have a theory I have a theory in customer case is that, that it's possible from their uh, their client uh, traffic they may use their client traffic may uh, using a lot of uh, uh, even numbered source port than odd numbered source port because we we have a uh, uh, previous uh, cases with customer like say if they are using Linux, and uh, the Linux is uh, is more likely to use uh, even numbered source port for uh, TCP collection, and uh, I believe there is a um, there is a kernel patch, so Linux kernel even source port. Even numbered. Yeah, so there is like here someone someone complained like like uh, from internet uh, while debugging some strange behavior with a load balancer. I I noticed the Debian a TCP stack, which is a kernel Linux kernel stack. Is that TCP collections with an even numbered port? And uh, so someone answered because a recent uh, because a kernel patch. And uh, this is a this is a kernel patch. Uh, in this patch, I changed the starting point in this hash function. 
to try to favor even ports, right? So for Linux uh, a client machine, it will favor even ports. So is that the case for customer here? And uh, so, so the problem is like uh, when you when the client is starting to use even port uh, for big IP. Uh, for big IP, parties, uh, for big IP, uh, by default, we use IP port uh, hashing, uh, IP port uh, hashing to to a TMM thread. So here is the VLAN. So this is the CMP hash. Uh, by default, uh, I believe it's using a, a source IP port uh, hash uh, to a, a TMMS thread. So in, in this case, I suspect uh, customer since customer is uh, using more uh, even port, uh, even source port. So it may it may uh, uh, only hash to the uh, some of the TMS, TMMS thread, so is that. But I need, but I needed to prove that is a case. Uh, so I needed to modify my uh, MTCP code to generate a uh, even port to just uh, prove my theory, and uh, so here. Uh, I modify the code here, MTCP stack, uh, use address pool. So from M MTCP stack, uh, the, all the addresses and the port are, are pre-allocated uh, before the test started, and before the collection started. And uh, this is uh, uh, the source port. Uh, MTCP stack uh, use the uh, the minim minimum value port start from ten twenty five, and the max port is uh, uh, this value, but it's like a sequential uh, like add one for each port. So you you, you pretty much got a, a well uh, distributed uh, source port and the even port. But uh, but in my in this case, I want to prove my theory, so I only wanted to use um, uh, even port. So this is how I this is how I change the code to use uh, to just uh, you know uh, use. Use the even port. If it's out of port, uh, I skip it. And uh, here or so. So since we changed the code, uh, so again here is the here is only like two out of four lines here, and that's. Then we can achieve the uh, even port uh, purpose. So we need to remake the MTCP stack, and we also needed to recompile the Apache bench. Okay. So here, right? So this is a TMM thread uh, three. Uh, this is a TMM thread one. Uh, once I started the load test, we should see uh, uh, this two TMM thread uh, uh, value increase, counter increase. Because uh, uh, yes, uh, yes. So for even port, uh, for even source port, 
the collection will be hashed to uh, tmm3 and tmm1. Uh, for out of source port, it will hash to these two hardware queue. And uh, so, so let's monitor here and let's start the test again. Start this test again. So right now it should only send an even port number. And as you can see, only these two hardware queues are processing traffic. So all the even port collection are hashed to TMM1 and TMM3. Right? So... Yeah, as, as also as you can see here, Here's a two TM thread with a higher CPU percentage. And this two TM thread with almost no uh, almost lower CPU usage. Almost, uh, yeah. And um, so, so, yeah. So back to the, the SSO transaction per second. So when a big IP has, uh, say, 20,000 uh, SSO transaction per second license, and uh, the, the 20,000 is divided by the number of TMM. TMM. So here we have uh, like a four TMM thread. So each uh, thread, uh, like uh, you need, we need to divide the 20,000 by uh, uh, number four uh, TM thread. So each TM TMM thread get like a, a fifty five uh, k, right? Five k five thousand SSO transaction per second. But the uh, so in customer case, they got a total. Their their traffic load is like a, a eight thousand. 8k and uh, so they have not exceeded the 20,000 uh, uh, license limit but since only one but since the traffic uh, is not evenly distributed so mostly it's hitting uh, it's uh, the collection is hashed to tmm3 and uh, so but uh, so each uh, tmm3 thread only can have 5,000 and so 8,000 uh, sure exceeded the 5,000 uh, limit. And uh, that's why the, their SSO collection get a, 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 a intermittent uh, failure. And uh, because just simply because their traffic load is, uh, is not evenly distributed across the uh, TMM thread. And uh, so, Yeah. So that's why the 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 that's the cause of their their problem, and um, and uh, you with this uh, uh, empty with this MTCP with this Apache Bench uh, multi-threaded Apache Bench uh, load test tool, uh, I'm able to prove that theory. And um, so I, I believe in the in, in Unix kernel, you can modify the kernel to only send a, a even number to source port. But uh, Linux kernel TCP stack is is a complex uh, stack, and uh, and you have to uh, uh, modify the code, compile the kernel, and uh, 
not that easy, but with this uh, uh, MTCP user space, uh, M MTCP stack, uh, and uh, 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 and also on top of a DBDK driver, you can get a high throughput uh, uh, node test, but a simple code uh, to if you want to modify to fit your uh, node test uh, uh, requirement. So yeah, and uh, uh, this is uh, I I have the uh, I have the code uh, put in my GitHub. It's in my GitHub uh, uh, MTCP clone, and uh, so in the development branch, I have this uh, uh, code uploaded uh, to the GitHub. So, and uh, you you can uh, git clone this uh, uh, this uh, git clone my MTCP clone, and uh, just follow the MTCP uh, uh, installation guide. You should be able to get a MTCP and Apache Bench uh, multi-threaded Apache Bench with uh, MTCP SSL load test. And uh, yeah, so yeah, thank you for watching. That's all uh, for today.